Hey guys, how you doing? Dave here. I love beef, I love rice, and this dish initially came from Africa, and we did a variation of it. One pan, beef and rice. It's aromatic, incredibly delicious. You're gonna love it, so let me walk you through it. Okay, to kick things off here, I'm going to add some oil to a preheated pan, and this is kind of medium-high heat. Add in a red onion that I've chopped up, and we're just going to saute this until it becomes brown. Now we've got some color happening here. They don't have to be completely caramelized, just a bit of brown on them. I'm going to add in a thumb-sized ginger and three cloves of garlic. For the spices, what we have are two tablespoons of masala powder, and you can pick this up in just about any grocery store, a couple of pinches of chili flake just for some heat, a cinnamon stick, some cilantro, and salt and pepper and do this to taste. And we're just going to stir and saute this just until the spices activate. And if it gets a little dry, don't be afraid to add in a bit more oil. Okay, after a minute or two, the spices have activated, and I'm going to add in about 400 kilos of beef, that's about a pound, and we're just going to let this cook up for a few minutes. And of course, you want the, uh, the spices to fully cover the beef. Now the beef is kind of cooked and fully coated, I'm going to add in two diced tomatoes, give it a quick stir, and we're just going to cook this until the tomatoes are fairly soft. Okay, now the tomatoes are soft, and this has been about two or three minutes. I'm going to add in two cups of beef stock, and one cup of rice. Now I'm using basmati rice here, but you can use long grain, whatever you have on hand. And I pre-washed this, of course. And we're just going to give this a stir. And we just want to bring this to a boil. After a boil, I'm just going to reduce the heat a little bit, cover it, and let it simmer for about 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, there you have it, guys. Our incredibly aromatic beef and rice. So delicious. Okay, let's go ahead and plate this up. Mm -mm. This looks and smells so good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and garnish this up with cilantro, just to give it that green. Okay, let's do a taste test here. Mmm, guys, this is so good. The spices, the beef is tender. Mmm, I can't stop eating this. There are a lot of options. You can vary the spices. You can do it with lamb instead of beef. But the great thing is you can do it in 30 minutes. For the full scoop on this recipe, head on over to cookandshare.com. All kinds of cool stuff there keep you busy for a long time. Thanks for watching and thanks for subbing and see you next time.